Kenya Livestock Producers Association KLPA in collaboration with East Africa Farmers Federation EF and Eastern and Southern Africa Dairy Association ESADA among other partners in the livestock sector in Africa and beyond hosted the African Livestock Conference and Exhibition ALIS. ALIS is the largest convergence of stakeholders in the livestock sector in Africa. This is a platform specifically aimed at stimulating trade in livestock and livestock products in Africa and beyond and facilitating technology and knowledge transfer and sharing. The event brought together producers, processors and traders of livestock and livestock products and suppliers of technology solutions and services in the entire value chain. The conference addressed the following among other important topics and issues world and Africa livestock status, livestock policies and economics, animal health, animal feeds and feeding, animal genetics, livestock farming technology, livestock processing and marketing, and livestock management and environment. The chairman of ESADA, Dr. Kipkuruya Rablangat, stated that this annual Africa livestock event is a brainchild of AU Ibar, Ildri and Galvmed. The three ALIS 2013 host organizations jointly developed the conference as one of the means of addressing the challenges facing the livestock sector in Africa. He observed that the livestock sector in sub-Saharan Africa continues to underperform due to the following reasons. It's low on farm productivity, market access, product quality, poorly resourced and underperforming livestock services, and favorable operating environments, particularly policies, but also investment, technical support, and information. This conference, ALICE Origin, is founded with a view to providing knowledge, solutions, technologies, and insights to continually address these and future challenges in the livestock sector while positioning the African sector in the global livestock map. The CEO of EF, Steve Moshiri, stated that Kenya is the home of the Pan-African Farmers Organization, PAFO, which was launched in Lilongwe, Malawi in 2011, and the Eastern Africa Farmers Federation, EF, which was launched in 2005. Nairobi was chosen as the capital for the farmers of Africa and farmers of a region because it is a regional hub due to its proximity to important institutions serving agriculture such as AU Ibar and Ildri and is relatively stable with a vibrant agriculture sector. The Africa Livestock Conference and Exhibition is thus an important platform for livestock farmers in this region to share and learn about developments in the sector, access information on technologies available, have business-to-business -business meetings with various uh, value chain actors, and chart the way forward with respect to favorable policies and programs to grow this sector. We are very much aware of the, contrib of the contribution of dairy sector over the years to uplifting millions of farmers from poverty, as well as contributing towards the nutrition of millions of preschool and school-going uh, children. We encourage other investors to use a similar approach of working with farmers through outgrower schemes, contracts, and even supporting uh, cooperatives. The Director General of ILRI informed the conference that ILRI and CGR are ready to work with governments in advancing the livestock sector. ILRI and the family of CG centers based here in Africa and particularly located here in Kenya are anxious to work with you and all your officials to advance the cause of agriculture development here in Kenya, in Africa, and globally. He announced that the conference theme towards a competitive and sustainable world-class livestock sector was in response to the global concern on the need for the world to feed itself in the light of the rising population. Minister, our theme for this conference and exhibition is towards a competitive and sustainable world-class livestock sector. This theme is responsive to the global concern, even anxiety, about how the world will feed itself by the, point, by the time population stabilizes at over 10 billion people sometime in the mid-2050s. In his speech, the Cabinet Secretary informed the conference that Kenya's blueprint for long-term development, Vision 2030, underscored the role of the livestock sector. For this reason, the government of Kenya has put in place various initiatives to develop the sector. 
The government of Kenya's main agenda for the agriculture sector is food and nutrition security through supporting critical areas. The setting of the vision 2030 was followed by a, a revision of the strategy for revitalizing agriculture. This revision led to development of the agriculture sector development strategy 2010-2020 that foresees a food secure and pro prosperous nation by 2020 and aims to achieve the much needed shift from substance farming to the agribusiness system, ensuring that many more Kenyans are not only able but are also interested in agriculture as a business. The Alice Conference brought together amongst its key participants, policymakers, private sector, farmers and researchers, so as to discuss the various issues that continue to plague farmers with an aim of improving productivity to the farmers through access of various services available and also through knowledge-based interventions. The response to these many challenges has always been inadequate, uh, mainly due to the lack of uh, governance frameworks. This general framework has to be domesticated in many ways. One way is generating uh, local policies that will be aligned to the traditions and customs and cultures of the places. For, for people to understand uh, and for also bringing in legislation that are friendly to the people and at the same time bringing in the policy framework that is generally accepted so that the, 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 the policy framework from, from, from the continent and, 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 the, and, and the East African region is only a guide that every country will work within it. We develop very good policies, uh, you know, we actually develop the frameworks very well but the hugest challenge is always um, is always implementation, and and that you know reflects a lot, especially at the national level, where we have good policies, and um, you know they're just sitting uh, in the ministries. The livestock sector in Kenya is large and complex, as it involves both public and private sector players. The implementation may be different, but the intention is one. So it is a matter of every country domesticating it and, and ensuring that it is bought by the by the people who are going to benefit from. And that is what we are going to do. We are doing legislation, we are doing policy issues, we are, we are, we are, we are training people down there, and we are aligning them to the continental policies that have been put in place. The future of Africa is in uh, the private sector. It's, it will be, if, if private sector is allowed to flourish and thrive and fail when it needs to fail, then the future of Kenya is assured. And for me, this is a great example, a great stimulus to the the proper working, finding the right place for the private sector and allowing it to take its rightful place in the whole our livestock uh, industry and uh, allowing it to, uh, to show what it can deliver to the farmers who, who need the products. A lot of, a lot of what's uh, being addressed at Alice essentially does focus right back on that key person, the farmer. What issues that farmer has, what areas uh, will essentially allow that farmer to be more productive allow his business or her business to be more sustainable and allow them to actually integrate into the, into the supply chain. Marketing is a challenge and more so in the poultry sector. Actually when the association was forming, the main issue was marketing, followed by input supply, uh, the quality actually of uh, the inputs. So when we talk about market, we find uh, the poultry sector is uh, market the market is controlled by middlemen. It's, it, I think it's the only sector where the producer has no say as to what prices they, they, they are going to to tag on their products. You find somebody else comes to tell you we are buying a tray of eggs for this much or we are buying a kilo of meat for this much, and that has been very frustrating. And the reason is because we are dealing with perishables. We are dealing with meat, which is perishable. We are dealing with eggs, which are perishable. And you'll find the brokers know this, or the middlemen and women know this, and they, they tend to exploit that uh, vulnerability. It's also important that uh, you know, farmers also try to understand their role in the livestock value chain. Uh, in Eastern Africa Farmers Federation, we have a new strategic uh, plan, uh, or rather strategic framework, running until from 2012 to 2020. And our focus is commercialization uh, through uh, development of farmer enterprises. And we are saying that farmers need to understand the value chains that they work in. They need to strategize how they will be key actors along that value chain. Uh, we know and we've visited uh, regions and countries where you know, farmers are actually involved at every level of the value chain. 
there is a widely had perception that there is so much research out there that does not get into development use, and that is probably true. It must be said, however, that a great amount of it already does get into use. So how to make sure that what we're doing and the good evidence we find in research get into use has been a very difficult challenge. Partnerships are the basis on which we operate and the basis on which we succeed. We really own nothing uh, in, the, uh, in the continuum. So a good example is the uh, East Coast fever vaccine that we, uh, that we have uh, on the market. Um, looking at the partners we have in that, we have uh, technology which came from originally from Cari uh, in, uh, in Nairobi. It's been manufactured most recently by Ilri, also based in Nairobi. We're in the process of transferring and upscaling the manufacturing through uh, some capacity building that we're doing in Malawi to the Center for Ticks and Tick-Borne Diseases. We then work uh, with uh, a group, a number of distributors, including uh, organizations such as SIDAI, uh, who uh, are getting the products out from central uh, warehouse to the end users. In the past our partnerships were mostly research partnerships. Now as many of our partners are development partners so that we are in close contact with the development partners and these range from the multilateral system, the World Bank, the African Development Bank, IFAD, but also the NGO, the National uh, Extension Services. The participants had opportunity to get first-hand experiences and appreciate emerging practices, technologies, solutions and investment ideas in the livestock sector through field trips to Brookside Breeders Show, Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Center, Kenya Veterinary Vaccine Production Institute Kevevapi, Kenya Meat Commission KMC, Isinya Modern Animal Feeds Miller and Poultry Farm and Chicken Slaughterhouse in one facility. Pastoralism should be considered as a great contributor to economic development on the continent. We do know that in some countries, the pastoral areas are considered as low potential areas. Those areas that are, someone would say, if they are removed from the map. Pastoralism continues to play a vital role in the livelihoods of many pastoral communities and is a great contributor to food across the African continent. There's a need, therefore, to develop a proper policy framework for pastoralism in Africa to effectively address in a holistic manner the many challenges of pastoral communities. The goals of the policy framework are to secure, protect and improve the lives, livelihoods and rights of African pastoralists, an advocacy tool for promoting the development and improvement of pastoral communities across Africa, a tool for harnessing the economic and technical resources needed to empower pastoral communities, a platform for mobilizing and coordinating political commitment to pastoral development in Africa, and facilitate engagement with regional and country-level planning processes. Pastoralism is there to stay, and we must nurture it. Pastoralists know how to look after the environment. They have lived there, and you've never seen where pastors are, um, um, erosion of the grounds and overgrowth. No, they know how to move. They eat here, they finish here, and they move on. We have to take efforts to restock those areas, um, to help the, the pastoralists to restock. It, it's a question of having a resource in terms of how the, these cows, the, 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 the bulls and cows that our traditional pastoralists keep, uh, that is able to browse, it is able to graze some grass, uh, it's able to walk long distances and collect this grass and, and produce meat out of it or milk out of it. If you take the few ranges which are having cross spreads, the, the, the kind of contribution in meat, for example, is, is less than 2%. We'll probably even 1%. The, the, what we call meat which is consumed in, in the region actually comes from the pastoralist communities. The following were agreed as recommendations emanating from the conference. The need to capture the ultimate goal, which is the market for African livestock. The need to establish a continental platform for livestock development stakeholders. There are many individuals with different rules, but the ultimate goal should be livestock market development. 
the livestock sector in Africa should start doing things differently to achieve the key changes for it to advance? It is important to brand Africa as the main entrance for the global livestock sector. This entails offering the best in terms of quality and quantity, establish a continental data bank with reliable data and technologies for the livestock sector to guide investment, Continuing debate and discussions on the African livestock industry should be fully supported with reliable data. The African livestock sector should endeavor to build alliances through regional and continental farmers' platforms, for example with EF, a regional platform that will move the African livestock agenda forward. Environmental issues emanating from livestock, e.g. effluent management and analysis of the effects of contaminants on the environment, be fully discussed in subsequent meetings. I think government needs to play a huge role. Uh, with respect to uh, development of this sector. And they have to play this role by ensuring that uh, they provide a, a conducive policy environment for uh, private sector to invest, for farmers to actually invest. Governments need to support institutions that support farmers. These institutions are important to farmers. They need to be given sufficient uh, funding by government because they'll actually be very instrumental uh, in transforming small-scale agriculture into you know, viable and sustainable uh, uh, form of, uh, of agriculture.